in the heart of cinematic history, where reels of celluloid weave tales of triumph and camaraderie, one film stands as a timeless testament to grit and gridiron glory. Imagine stepping into the dimly lit theater, the scent of buttered popcorn filling the air as the flickering projection transports you to the year 1974. A new world of excitement unfolds before your eyes as you take your first strides alongside the rambunctious team of misfits in the longest yard. Perhaps you recall the electrifying energy that surged through the crowd as Burt Reynolds, clad in the iconic prison uniform, rallied his band of unconventional athletes. The palpable tension of every play, every tackle, and every touchdown had your heart racing in sync with the players on screen. And oh, the laughter that erupted when the team's ingenious stratagems unfolded, who could forget that riotous game of football meets antics. As you journey through the labyrinth of memories, you might find yourself reminiscing about that one scene, that singular moment that etched itself into your mind. Was it the unlikely camaraderie that blossomed within the confines of incarceration? Or perhaps the breathtaking touchdown that felt like an explosive crescendo of determination? Whatever it was, the longest yard holds a place not only in cinematic annals but also in the hearts of those who witnessed its glory. Now, as we gather fragments of time to uncover the lesser-known tales behind the scenes, imagine the anecdotes that swirl like hidden currents beneath the polished surface. Random facts, those delightful nuggets of trivia, paint a new layer onto this classic canvas. Did you know that the actors underwent an intensive football training regimen to ensure their on-screen authenticity? The dedication to their roles added an extra layer of realism to the unforgettable place. So, as we delve into the intriguing mosaic of the longest yard, remember to cherish those moments that stirred your soul, the scenes that tugged at your emotions, and the characters who became your companions through the flickering light. The journey is about to unfold, revealing the secrets and surprises that have lingered, waiting for this very moment to resurface. Buckle up, dear cinephiles, for the tale behind the tale is about to unfold, a tapestry woven with sweat, camaraderie, and sheer determination. And it all begins. Now, ow, 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 ow. The 1974 film The Longest Yard stands as a sports comedy drama directed by Robert Aldrich, renowned for its compelling narrative and distinct characters. Originating from a screenplay by Albert S. Ruddy, the movie finds its roots in the world of American football, blending the underdog sports trope with a prison setting. Burt Reynolds stars as the charismatic antihero Paul Crew, a former football player who orchestrates a football game between inmates and guards, epitomizing rebellion and unity against authority. The film boasts a unique style by intertwining humor, action, and social commentary, deftly addressing themes of oppression, camaraderie, and personal redemption. The captivating portrayal of characters like Caretaker, a witty sidekick, and Captain Nower, the ruthless head guard, adds depth and authenticity to the story. Notably, the film's success lies in its ability to balance laughter and drama, navigating a fine line between comedic camaraderie and the harsh realities of life behind bars. The Longest Yard became a cultural touchstone, influencing subsequent sports-themed comedies and solidifying Reynolds' status as a Hollywood icon. Its impact reverberates through the film's enduring popularity and its role in shaping the sports comedy genre, resonating with audiences across generations. In essence, The Longest Yard remains a memorable classic that masterfully melds sports, humor, and social commentary, securing its place in the pantheon of cinematic achievements. Richard Keel's breakthrough role in The Longest Yard in the annals of cinema history, 1,974 seconds The Longest Yard stands as a defining moment for several cast members, but none more so than Richard Keel. The towering actor, celebrated for his iconic portrayal of Jaws in the James Bond series, considered his role in the movie to be one of his proudest achievements. Keel's towering presence and distinctive features lent a remarkable dimension to his character, creating an indelible impact on the film's landscape. Keel's portrayal in The Longest Yard marked a pivotal juncture in his career. He accredited the role as his inaugural opportunity to shine in a major A-list production, granting him the visibility he needed to subsequently secure a place in the TV series Barbary Coast. This cinematic venture showcased Keel's versatility beyond his towering stature, propelling him into broader horizons. Beyond his towering performance, Keel's narrative is interwoven with the film's legacy. His journey from the gridiron to the silver screen parallels the themes of transformation and triumph that The Longest Yard encapsulates. As fans reminisce about the movie, Keel's exceptional contribution remains a testament to the power of breakout roles. 47-minute gridiron glory, the longest yards epic football showdown and a cinematic spectacle that left audiences on the edge of their seats. The 1974 movie The Longest Yard delivered an awe-inspiring climactic football game that spanned a staggering 47 minutes of screen time. A gridiron extravaganza that pushed the boundaries of sports cinema, this monumental sequence showcased not only the character's grit but also the filmmaker's dedication to capturing the intensity of the game. 
Crafted with meticulous attention to detail, the football showdown became a pivotal element of the film's narrative, encapsulating the protagonist's journey from defiance to camaraderie. The director, Robert Aldrich, masterfully interwove bone-crushing tackles, heart-stopping plays, and strategic maneuvers to create a symphony of sports drama that resonated with both die-hard fans and casual viewers. Yet, behind this epic display of athletic prowess lies a lesser-known anecdote that underscores the movie's production quirks. According to an Atlanta radio interview with Hal Needham, a key figure during filming, a curious incident unfolded during the shooting of a chase scene involving a Citroen SM. As the crew salvaged the vehicle from a river, a swift transaction occurred. Someone was waiting, wallet in hand. The diligent observer promptly purchased the waterlogged Citroen, forever becoming an accidental part of the movie's history. While the on-screen triumphs of the longest yard are celebrated, the off-screen decisions often shape the course of cinematic fate. In the DVD version, a revelation emerges from James Hampton, shedding light on the casting dynamics. Hampton, who eventually portrayed Caretaker, initially vied for the role of Unjur. However, his desire to embody Caretaker's character led to a swap of roles with Charles Tyner, resulting in a nuanced portrayal that added depth to the ensemble. As the annals of film history continue to immortalize the longest yard, it's the intricate interplay of on-field battles and behind-the-scenes anecdotes that enrich our appreciation for this classic. A celluloid testament to both the sport of football and the art of filmmaking, the longest yard transcends its time, a beacon of endurance and camaraderie, destined to remain etched in our collective memory. 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 In the 1974 film The Longest Yard, a tale of gridiron grit and unlikely camaraderie, a few lesser-known nuggets shine new light on its legacy. Michael Fox, not a stranger to the spotlight, went beyond acting as he slipped into the role of the announcer. Remarkably, he scripted his own commentary, lending an authentic touch to the game's electrifying atmosphere. However, the off-field connections didn't stop there. In a blink and yowl miss it moment during the climactic play, Burt Reynolds' own brother took a quiet step into the frame. Clad in the black jersey with the number 65, he ran alongside Reynolds, etching an unscripted family footnote into the film's final moments. Behind the scenes, producer Albert S. Ruddy wove an intricate tapestry of inspiration. Drawing from the wreckage of a friend's dashed football dreams, Rudd's creativity soared. The friend's tragic trajectory from gridiron promise to sandwich shop obscurity, all while enduring the weight of an unsupportive partner, birthed the film's core premise. Rudd's storytelling prowess then took the reins, crafting a tale of redemption, resilience, and defiance against the odds. In this mosaic of on-set ingenuity and off-set bonds, the longest yard transcended its cinematic status, becoming a canvas where real lives, real stories, and real heartbreak painted the backdrop for a triumphant tale of the underdog. A touchdown of truth and fiction, forever enshrined in celluloid history, celluloid history, cellu the longest yard, a glimpse behind the gridiron in the annals of cinema history, 1974 seconds the longest yard stands tall as a sports classic. But beyond the tackles and touchdowns, this film harbored a drama of its own, hidden beneath the helmeted facade. Albert S. Ruddy and Burt Reynolds, voices on the DVD commentary, unveil a backstage anecdote that adds a layer of intrigue to the film. Director Robert Aldrich's dislike for Michael Conrad, aptly named the Polish Princess, is an unexpected twist. Yet, amidst the tension, a pivotal scene turned the tide. The electric exchange between Paul Crewe and Scarborough, etching the words your pride and your balls, won Aldrich's admiration. A tearful shift in dynamics followed, as Conrad shed his on-set moniker, marking a pivotal turning point. As the plot unfolded on screen, a thread of reality was woven. Notable actors had once tread upon the very gridiron they now simulated. Burt Reynolds, synonymous with his role, once donned the uniform of Florida State University and faced the prospects of professional play with the Baltimore Colts. Mike Henry, too, knew the field's rigors as a player for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Rams. Joe Capp's quarterback prowess wasn't confined to the script, he commanded the Minnesota Vikings. Ray Nitschk, celebrated for his portrayal, had excelled as a middle linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. Purvis Atkins added his own authenticity, having graced the ranks of the Los Angeles Rams, Washington Redskins, and Oakland Raiders. However, it's the tale of Sonny Sixkiller that carries a touch of cinematic irony. In the film, he portrays the Indian, yet his real-life journey bore a striking resemblance to the underdog narrative. A Cherokee heritage framed his identity, but it was his time as the University of Washington's quarterback that truly marked him. In the early 70 seconds, Sixkiller guided the Huskies from the abyss of obscurity in the Pac-8. A year after the film's release, he left professional football, bridging fiction and reality. The Longest Yard, a film that marries the reels of cinema and the grit of the gridiron, continues to leave an indelible mark. Beyond the script, it's the nuances and untold stories that keep this classic alive and vibrant. As we bid adieu, I extend an earnest invitation to traverse down the memory lane of cinema history, where the celluloid reels entwine to conjure the spellbinding 1974 masterpiece, The Longest Yard. 
It's more than just a movie, it's a portal to moments frozen in time, a journey that sparks reminiscence and resonates with the spirit of camaraderie, resilience, and the undying human pursuit of triumph against the odds. As the credits roll, may you find yourself not just a spectator, but a partaker in the echoes of laughter shared by Burt Reynolds and his ragtag team, the adrenaline of the gridiron clashes, and the intoxicating blend of rebellion and unity that transcends the screen. Reflect upon your own narrative and how it interweaves with this cinematic gem. Did you first watch it with friends, family, or perhaps stumble upon it during a solitary late-night screening, forever etching its essence into your heart? This isn't just a call for recollection, it's an opportunity to engage, to partake in a dialogue that extends across time and space. Share your musings, your cherished moments, and the emotions that this film stirred within you. Delve into the camaraderie it celebrates, the underdog spirit it champions, and the reflections it ignites about your personal journey. Thank you for embarking on this expedition through the celluloid realms of the longest yard. Your time, your memories, and your reflections are the canvas upon which this movie paints a timeless tapestry. Until we reunite again for another cinematic voyage, keep the reel of memories spinning. Warmly, your name, Lee, your name, Lee, your name.